Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share a haul video with you guys. I got some new goodies from the Hello Bluebird new release and also a few things from Butterfly Reflections Inc. and some other things. So I just wanted to share them with you before I repackage and organize my supplies. And I also have a little giveaway for you guys so stay tuned to the end of the video for that. So I'm just gonna set all of this stuff off to the side and we're gonna go through it one by one. So my first order was from Butterfly Reflections Inc. and I picked up a few fun goodies from there. The first thing I got was these Pink and Main Scrub It Clean Stamp Cleaning Claws. Basically these are just microfiber claws but they're in this really pretty pink shade. And um, the reason I got these was actually two things. First of all, I really love my Picket Fence um, stamp cleaner, the, the Scrubby Cleaner, um, which I shared with you guys in a different haul video. But um, it really gets in there and cleans things really well, especially with new stamps because of that nubby texture. But also because of that nubby texture, it does leave some um, wetness behind on your stamps. So I often just clean it with my stamp chamois, but if my stamp chamois is really wet, um, it doesn't quite do the job. So I thought having these would be perfect for that. Um, I'm just going to open this up so you can see. I actually haven't opened it myself yet either, so we can kind of see together. I think there's a couple in here. So um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so there's two in there, and they're a really good size. Um, you could probably even cut these down if you wanted to, to have something smaller, but I probably won't. But another thing that I like these for is when I am using my Misty and stamping things down, um, it can be a little bit tricky to like press with your fingertips just because you get resistance. And so I often grab like the end of my shirt and use that. Um, but I just thought, you know, winter is coming. Not that I want to admit that, but I don't always want to be like pulling my shirt up, you know, when I'm stamping. So I thought using one of these would be perfect for just getting that um, momentum down so you get really nice pressure as you're stamping down your images. So I thought those would be perfect for both of those reasons. And I just love the color. I mean, yeah, you can buy these at Walmart, but the color was so pretty and it's great to support stamp companies. So why not? They weren't very expensive. Okay, so then I placed um, an order for two more Heffy Doodle sets. So the first one is this You Go Gull, which has these really adorable little seagulls and all these fun little accessories. I really love the message in the bottle. You've got the um, tree stump there that you can have like sticking out of the water, the pilings or whatever you call them, um, the buoy, just lots of fun stuff and some really great punny sentiments. And me living in a lakeside town, this is just kind of perfect. So I picked up that along with the matching dies. And then I also got the um, a little shellfish and I mainly got it because I absolutely love these little sandcastle images that are like straight out of the pail. When I was little I used to love to go to the beach here in town and make sandcastles by you know filling the sand in the bucket and then you add some water from the lake and then you make these little um, like bucket <laughs> uh, shaped sand castles and I just thought that was so funny and I love the one that's kind of turned into a birthday cake I think that's so cute and then of course you've got this adorable little crab and some really fun sentiments as well there's a little hermit crab and a lobster there's a pinwheel that you can stick coming out of your sand castle or whatever you want to do with it um, really really fun so I'm excited to play with those I also picked up an older Lawn Fawn set. Um, this one is called Some Bunny. This is not new at all, um, but when I was making my Lawn Fawn watermelon patch card, hold on one second and let me grab it. 
So this one here, when I was making this card, I really wish that I would have had some gardening tools that I could have put in the little girl gnome's hand or just kind of set the scene with. And, you know, I still was happy with the card in the end, but it just made me think, um, I really wish I had those. And so I went and looked and I found this set that has the little spade, and there's the watering can, and then you've got this little um, container garden, which is really fun. And I love this little carrot cake with the carrot on top. Plus the bunnies are super cute. I love bunnies. So um, I picked up that and the matching dies as well. And then I got um, also from Lawn Fawn. I had mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, the Slimline Stitch Hillside Borders, I had said they were coming, um, so I was really excited to use these, which I actually just did on a card yesterday, so stay tuned, that will be up on Monday. Um, yeah, really happy with how that one turned out, so I hope you guys are going to love it. I picked up one paper pad, it was the Echo Park Farmhouse Kitchen. I just love um, like farm style stamps, little farm critters and stuff like that. Um, the book that I'm writing is set on a farm, so it just kind of, um, you know, makes me feel nostalgic for that. So I thought this would be fun to use. I've got some different farm sets that I want to uh, use soon that I haven't used in quite a while. I also picked up one die set from MFT. I had been waiting for this to come back in stock, so when it did, I made sure to grab it. This was the inside and outside stitched circle stacks. So it just cuts out, the cut line is here, so you get the stitching detail both on the inside and the outside. So no matter whether you want to use the actual circle or the negative space, um, you get that stitching detail. So I was happy to grab those finally. Um, so now I'm gonna go on to my Hello Bluebird order and then we'll get to the giveaway at the end. So um, the first thing I got was the free stamp set. This one was free with a $100 purchase, I believe. It's called Frightful Little Bits. And you guys probably know I'm not that into Halloween stamps, but, or not stamps necessarily, but making cards for Halloween, I guess I should say. But this is so cute. These guys are so adorable. Look at his little face. He's just so joyful. I just thought this was so cute. So, I mean, I'm not going to say no to free. I'm sure I will get some use out of this. Um, the bats are even so cute. And I do not like bats, but they are just adorable. And I love the little sentiments. Hey, pumpkin. Super cute. So I did pick up the matching dies. These were not free, but I mean, you know, there's, their dies aren't that expensive. So I definitely wanted to have it so that I could use them together. The set that I was most excited about was the Next Door Gnomes. I know gnomes aren't like everybody's thing, but I love them. I think they're so cute. And these guys just have the cutest little faces. This girl here with her flowers is probably my most favorite. I just really, really love her. Um, but I also love this guy with his lantern. I love them all. They're so adorable. Hello Bluebird just has the cutest images. Um, so... You know, you might say, do you really need another gnome set? You know, like everybody's got one, but when they're this cute, yes, you do. You absolutely do. So I picked up that along with the matching dies. And then I picked up the garden party, which goes really well with the garden friends. Do I still have that one next to my desk? I think I may have put it away. I think I've put that one away already, but anyway, um, it goes with the Garden Friends, I believe. So this one just has got the birds and the frogs from that set, um, but you've got them in, you know, different poses. They're kind of dancing. There's one playing music. Here's another little mouse playing music, and um, you've got these great mushrooms. I absolutely love these, and here's some more. So those will be great for setting scenes. You got some fun little bugs and butterflies and 
yeah, I just loved it. And I thought, you know, anytime you got something that goes so well with another set, you just get more versatility. I am all about that. I love it. So again, I did get the matching dies. And then um, along with all of that, here is another set that coordinates with the, I believe the other one is called Fairy Friends. I'm not 100% sure on there, but it matches with the other very popular fairy set. And um, But now you've got more of them in more little poses. I love this little girl here. She's kind of just got this cute little grin on her face and this girl here they're all so cute honestly I love them I've got another really good sized mushroom and some pretty little flowers and some more bugs and I've really been trying to work on mastering coloring hair so I thought these would be great for that because we've got some different styles some different um, directions that they're facing which can make it more challenging for me at least um, so I'm excited to play with this. I'm still working on that Copic series for you guys. I'm hoping to have another one of those videos out here soon. Um, it probably won't be the hair and skin yet because I'm still not confident enough and I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys um, good tools and tips so that you're able to color in a way that makes you happy so I've got to get there myself before I can share that with you but critters will probably be coming first um, so I only picked up one of the new slimline dies and I just got the gallery frame 5 so there were a bunch of different ones with different scenes but I ended up deciding that um, if I had this one, which is more basic, I can kind of make most of the other scenes on my own. They're not going to look exactly the same, but I can achieve a similar look um, just with this one. So that's the one that I uh, ended up going with. I would have liked to have more, but I mean, there is a budget, so <laughs> uh, you have to draw the line somewhere. So the last thing I got from Hello Bluebird was just the dies to go with the Little Painters, which was the freebie set from last time. Um, I did not pick those dies up at that time, and then I just was waiting and waiting and waiting forever, and I really wanted to be able to use them. Um, even though they're an Easter set, I have some ideas for a card that's not Easter themed using these, so I just really wanted to get those dies. So that I'm ready whenever I want to make that card. I didn't order any of the summer sets even though they were super cute just because I knew I had already ordered the summer sets from Heffy Doodle before I ever saw the sneak peeks for Hello Bluebird and I summer is just um, it's going by so fast there's not that much time left I've got so many other cards uh, planned and due for, you know, the various companies and I just didn't think I was going to be able to get to use them this year. So I decided to just wait on those. But anyway, so the next thing that I got actually directly relates to all of you guys. So I had shared my little cloud embellishment tray on a previous haul video and I have been using them in other videos as well. But um, Amanda, the owner of Twiddler's Nook, actually contacted me to thank me for sharing that haul video because a bunch of you guys went and ordered after you saw it, which is amazing. And it made my heart so happy because we need to be supporting each other and we need to be supporting uh, small businesses. Amanda, the owner of Twiddler's Nook, um, she is a crafter herself and her and her husband make these little trays along with some other things. So she actually contacted me and asked if she could send me one of their magnetic die storage holders. Um, so she let me pick one out and so this is the one that I chose. There's a couple different styles and also different colors. But it comes in these two pieces so it can lay flat in a drawer if you want when you're not using it. And then it just snaps together really easy like this and you can stick your dies to it and it's really really strong so it holds everything nicely but it's also really easy to pick them up um, so that is also from twiddler's nook if any of you guys are interested in that i highly recommend them and then um, i also at the same time i was contacting amanda we were kind of like 
um, intercepted each other there because I was um, getting close to 25,000 subscribers. I'm at 22 right now, so um, I'm still 3,000 away, but I just thought I would start compiling things for a giveaway, and I wanted to give away one of these little cloud embellishment trays, and so I mentioned that to her, and she said she would love to sponsor the giveaway. Um, so I decided not to wait until I hit 25,000. I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. So here is my little cloud embellishment tray. So here is another one that I'm going to be giving away here in this video. And then she also added some uh, little embellishment packs. I got to pick those out. So there are some little um, posies. They're super, super cute that you could put in a shaker or you could add to a scene in your grass or whatever you want to do. And then this one has um, little seashells and flowers and like coral colored uh, sequins. And there's some pale ones as well. There's all kinds of little hearts and tons of stuff in there. It's just super cute, this little mix here. So I'm gonna be giving away these three things here, this little tray plus the two bags of sequins. So all you have to do is leave me a comment down below on this video and let me know that you're interested and then I will draw a winner in one week. I just zoomed in a little bit there for you so you can see those a little bit better. So I will draw a winner on the 21st of August. I'm not gonna film a whole separate video because I think that's just um, overkill probably on YouTube, um, but I will contact the winner, so make sure that there's a way for me to contact you. I will also post it on my Instagram stories um, so you can check there. I'll, I'll make sure that I try to contact you every way I possibly can. So. Um, just leave a comment down below and I will draw somebody to win this adorable little cloud embellishment tray and these two bags of sequins from Twiddler's Nook. So thank you so much, Amanda, for sponsoring that giveaway. So that is my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also you can mention um, down below what products you are most excited about and uh, hopefully I can use those sooner rather than later on my channel. I also have an exciting video coming up in uh, on the 22nd, so um, I have an announcement in that video, so you definitely wanna check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.